Good morning. So I promised you guys I would take you through uh, my cupboard list, my cupboard list of foods that I have which um, help for transitioning into different diets. It's a list that I comprised when I was going raw vegan. So every time I found a food that I loved or that um, I could make into a raw vegan recipe, I would list the food on these sheets in my cupboard. And then it really helped for when I was forgetting like waking up in the morning, what the heck can I make for breakfast? I would look inside my cupboard and I would look at my breakfast sheet and it would give me a whole bunch of different ideas. So I'm gonna take you guys downstairs and I'm gonna show you these lists. Okay, so this is just inside my spice cupboard and these are the lists that I have here. I have a list for breakfast. I have, oh, what list is that? Oh, it's hidden, lunch and dinner. I have what's that? desserts, I have sauces, and I have snacks. And I have a little list over here which my husband actually made which was super duper handy um, and <laughs> it was for my kids. It's a list of foods that my kids love um, to eat. I mean not necessarily raw or anything, just um, nice vegan gluten free foods that my kids love to eat because you know how picky kids can get and sometimes you forget what do they really enjoy so he made a list to to help us remember um but yeah let me take you through these this list because it's um quite extensive now remember this is specifically for raw vegan recipes which is amazing because there's a lot but these can obviously be vegan they can be gluten-free they can be like you could do you could make whatever um so these are the recipes that i discovered when I was going raw. So for breakfast, I, I could just have fruit, I could have a, a smoothie, chia seed pudding, um, dates, I don't know why I write, wrote dates down because I normally would never just eat dates for breakfast. These are also probably, I, like if you tell, I haven't looked in here in a long time. Um, so some of these are just ideas like to add into things or things that you can eat that are raw or that I enjoy. So dates, um, lemon water, pancake crepe or crepe and yes you can make those raw super good a lot of these recipes you can actually find in my other videos um, as vegan gluten-free and raw recipes so nut butter sprouted seeds jams juice yogurt coconut kefir so good I've got a recipe for that too uh, crepe I think I already put that nuts seed honey strawberry honey what what is that okay honey I don't know if I would recommend honey right now um, or any more. Buckwheaties, buckwheats are good, buckwheaties are good, dehydrated buckwheat, super yummy. Um, oatmeal, you can do uh, chia or buckwheaties, oatmeal, and even just oats that are raw, you could do. Uh, apple bread, and then crackers, pizzas, zoodles, salads, wraps, sandwiches, soup, burgers. Um, yes, I did burgers raw. <laughs> And they were like, okay, you might just want to stick to the vegan version. Sushi, stir fry, hummus, marinated squash sub, super yummy, avocado salad, fermented nut cheese, have a recipe video on that. Um, watermelon rind bread, that's actually super good, super yummy, I'm going to make a video on that. Rice wraps, or a banana wrap, I have a video on that. Uh, soaked wild rice, or buckwheat, and then... These were just little add-on ideas that were raw. Olives, seeds, sun-dried tomatoes, artichokes, chickpeas, hummus, herbs, dates, avocado. Uh, desserts, um, I have a lot more I could add to this list now. Coconut mousse, oh, my arm is killing me holding this phone up right now. What is that? Oh, cheesecake, cupcakes, cookies, crepes, uh, cinnamon buns, brownies, raw oat flour, uh, nice cream. And then sauces, um, Alfredo sauce, I have a recipe for that. Uh, just tomato sauce, different tomato sauces you can make. Pestos, barbecue sauce, bruschetta, guacamole. Did I spell guacamole? I don't even know. Tamari, olive tapenade, um, and Thai sauce, which I think is one of our favorites. I'm gonna make a video on that. Um, and then just different snack ideas. Fruit roll-ups, nuts, dates, fruits, crackers, cucumbers, pepper. There's a ton more that I could probably add to these lists now, but I'm telling you, this these lists were a lifesaver. Like they were so, 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 so helpful when I was transitioning my diet. So helpful. It's so easy to forget what you can eat and what you can make 
and it gets really discouraging and hard sometimes. So go for this. Make something like this for yourself. Foods that you enjoy and then just stick them wherever you'll remember to look. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I have tons more videos just like just like this. And let me know what you think or even different recipe ideas that you guys have. Stuff that I could add to my lists. Yes, please, please comment. Okay, have a good day, my friends. Bye-bye. I'm so sorry, my counter is absolutely disgusting. I wanted to add this recipe in for you guys at the end because this is actually what I used uh, my little recipe cupboard for this morning is I um, was looking for something to eat for breakfast and this is one of my favorite recipes, my favorite little um, breakfasty sauce and all it is is raw cashews, cocoa and if you want to add a little bit of sweetener like maple syrup you can. Um, sometimes I don't add it at all but let me show you guys what I'm going to do with it. 